working or looking for work is the lowest it's been since 1978. So we have tens of millions of people right now um, who are able-bodied, who aren't working or looking for work or going to school to get training to go to work. And, 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 and I'm not trying to blame people. I'm trying to say they're missing out. They're missing out on the American idea and their American dream. And we are missing out on their talents. The more people that go into the economy, the faster the economy grows. So the more we can get people who can work into the workforce, the better everybody is. The better they are and the better we are as, as a society. And so here's what I think, and this is one of the big projects I'm working on, is we kind of have a poverty trap. And if you take all these things together, you, you can say food stamps in isolation, this program, but if you take all these programs together, I know you can't really see this, but this is a stacking up of all the means-tested um, you know, programs that you would consider in the welfare category, helping a person who is down in need. And they stack up at the lo low income level and then they taper off. And so you have big subsidies, you know, up here until say 30,000 and then it starts tapering off as, as they sh are supposed to. But the way they're designed, they have these cliffs and they create these high marginal tax rates. Now what that means is these are, you know, well-documented um, uh, numbers, which is this shows you the effective tax rate that a person experiences as they move up the income scale because if you interact their welfare benefits with uh, their income as they go through life and earn more money, they experience as high as, a, as an 80% tax rate. I mean, it's crazy. So it pays not to work. It's not that people don't want to. It's that the disincentives are so great that if you're in this area, a single mom with a couple kids making you know twenty or twenty-five thousand dollars, you're losing like eighty cents on the dollar for going to take a job. So you know you, you take the risk of taking.